Hey YouTube, look what I got. Hi, my name is Jane and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. And uh, thanks for joining me today. I'm just gonna bring you a quick unboxing of something that just arrived today, just a few minutes ago in fact. And I'm pretty excited to get this, so let's just get right into it. All right. Oh, how about that? Oh my goodness. Okay, I was not expecting this to be in here. But they decided, you know what? We're going to send you a catalog. I haven't seen one of these in... God, I haven't seen one of these things in like 14 years. I used to get these sometimes because you'd go into the store and they would just give it to you. Oh my gosh. I can't believe they're doing this again. Okay, I'll look at that later. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Here's my receipt. In the box out. Get that out of the way. So, uh, a little bit of to catch you up a little bit. This is actually the second time I've bought this bag. Um, the first one arrived a couple of days ago and it was defective. And I'll have, uh, I'll insert a picture here to show you in a little bit after, after I show you what this is. But um, yeah, the canvas had a, a defect on it and I just couldn't keep it. So I called them up and they overnighted me a new one and I sent back the old one. And so let's hope that this one is perfect because, you know, for the money we pay for these beautiful items, it should be flawless. All right. And here it is. Now this is the, the first brand new Louis Vuitton bag I've purchased from the boutique uh, since like 2007. Everything I've gotten since then has been pre-loved and um, you know, that's just how it worked out. But this time I wanted something new because I've found that on the pre-loved market, a lot of times you're paying more than retail, which is insane. So here it is. Turn it around. This is the Odeon MM in Damier Aben. Oh, and the little tag charm is already attached. In the last one, it was not attached when I opened it up. It's beautiful. Oh, the zipper is super smooth. And inside is, oh wow, so this one has stuffing. The last one did not. I don't know what was going on with the last one. And we also have the strap. The shoulder strap. The reason I wanted this is because I only have one other Damier Aben bag and a, some SLGs and I really wanted a bag in this print that I could wear crossbody or on my shoulder. So let's get the strap put together and I'm gonna put it on a kind of a shorter length because I want to wear this on my shoulder I'm not really planning to wear it crossbody, but we'll see how it goes. And there it is. And let's get this attached. And then I'm gonna um, go over this bag pretty carefully, just making sure that it is indeed perfect to my satisfaction. I really hope it is because I would hate to have to go through yet another return or exchange. So the canvas looks really good and I'll show you a little close up of that little 
cute charm on there. I don't know if it's focusing. The front looks really good. I could probably fix, I think this is not, this little tag charm is not really on properly, but I'll just fix that later. Inside we've got the different cards, care cards and information made in USA. Made in USA of imported materials and components. And it's got a little QR code too. Um, the item number is N50062. Um, these do pop up on the website sporadically, so uh, there's no need to buy this secondhand. If you just are a patient or call client services, you should be able to get one. And the inside is not lined in um, microfiber, but it is lined in a pretty nice uh, fabric, which I think is black. It's a black fabric lining. It's got a front pocket, which has a magnetic, hidden magnetic closure. Inside the pocket's lined in Damia canvas. It's got two big, nice zippers. Very smooth, even with the curve. Super smooth. And let's check out how this pattern lines up. Looks pretty good. Oh my God, it's perfect on this side. So you can see the checkerboard should be symmetrical and it's perfect on this side too, which is awesome because again, the last one was good on one side and then a little off on the other. I can live with that, it doesn't really bother me, but um, I'll insert the picture here of what happened with the last one. There was a long straight line just running right up and down the front of the bag. I couldn't unsee it. And I think what happened was during the coating process, when they do the, the coated canvas, it's coated in like um, some kind of, you know, polypropylene or something like that. In that process, something happened. There was a mistake and it just left a, a ridge. Like it was, you could feel it with your finger. It was like a line and you could also see it. And I was like, well, there's no way. I'm going to keep this. Um, this has black leather corners or corner pieces. They look pretty good. It's got piping, black leather piping. It's all treated leather. And the, of course, black leather adjustable, removable straps. So I love to change straps on my bags all the time. So I'll probably you know, swap this out with different straps, you know. Also, you can take this charm off, and I like using different charms too. Though I actually really like this. It's got LV uh, stamped into the front in metal, so it's really beautiful. I'm so pleased. I'm so glad that I exchanged that. They made it really easy. I have had nothing but great experiences on the phone with um, client services. They're very accommodating, understanding, professional. So now let's see what fits. This is the MM. There's also a PM, which I thought would be too small for me. And also because I have the Palas BB um, monogram bag, which is pretty small. It's about the same size as the Odeon PM. So I didn't want to double that up. I didn't see the point in doing that. I want something that can just hold everything and I don't have to play Tetris to get everything to fit. So I brought some SLGs to see what fits. And we'll start with this mini pochette. This is the Emprunt mini pochette that just came out a few months ago. It's black leather. I absolutely love it. I've got just, it's just a catch all for a few things. I've got my lip balm in here and a cute little purse hook that I got off Etsy that you can use when there's no place to set your purse when you go out. Band-Aid, you know, just random stuff. I don't like to just throw things loose in my bag. 
Um, it's a good way to lose things or to, you know, mess up the lining of your bag. Like for example, a pen, I would never put a pen right into the bag. I have a pen case where I keep all my pens. So this will go right in there. My only, and this is very small, my only complaint about this is that it is a black lining. So it's kind of a black hole. So you look in there and you have this black mini pochette. Fortunately, it has the white logo on it so you can see. <laughs> so next is the matching wallet. My favorite wallet style from Louis Vuitton, which is the Zippy coin purse. It's so compact and for me, really easy to use. Um, reading glasses so I can read. Uh, my keys and coins are in this Ophidia Gucci uh, coin purse. Uh, of course, my phone will go into the front pocket where I can reach it easily. And then I've got this Coach Croc Embossed wristlet that I got like eight years ago. And I put a dress up your purse little tassel in there. I really love this. I don't use it enough. I'm trying to use it more. It's got the little horse and carriage um, little plate on the front. It's lined with blue satin. And I just keep cards, coupons, anything flat just goes in there and I can get, get to it if I need to. And it has a pocket in the front. I really love this. It's super soft. It's croc embossed leather, obviously not real croc, and it's really, really soft. And this can go in there too. I've, I have plenty of room, plenty of room for, for all of this. One more thing, which is my sunglasses. These are Tory Burch sunglasses. Absolutely love them. I got these. I got these on the real reel, <laughs> and I had a credit, a site credit, and um, so they were like fifty bucks, which is good because I think retail was like one seventy five for these or something. They're awesome sunglasses, and so those will go in there too. And that's about all I would carry. There's probably still, you know, a little more room at the top, but I don't like to stuff my bags because they just start to get heavy, and then you really are trying to struggling to find anything and so it just zips right up and it's still pretty lightweight it's another reason I love Louis Vuitton canvas it is almost never too heavy um, and I don't really buy big leather bags anymore because it's just I don't like it when I'm struggling to like hold on to it or it just becomes like a problem when it gets too much stuff inside so here it is I will throw it on my shoulder so you can see what it looks like I don't see many of these on YouTube in fact I've never seen this particular model in a YouTube video believe me I searched because I was trying to do a little research there's plenty of monogram ones there's plenty of PM sized videos but I didn't see any for the MM in the Damier because I think it just came out in July so that's probably why but here it is. Let's see if I can do a mod shot. I am five foot one. I realize I'm too close to the camera, but this is just on my shoulder on the second shortest hole. I think it's perfect. I can still reach right into that pocket. And um, I have plenty of crossbody bags, so I think I'm just going to just use this as a shoulder bag. I think it just looks better that way. Um, just because it is on the bigger side and so I like to do crossbody a little bit a little smaller um, size back so. so that's it <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it helped you out if you're trying to make a decision about this bag or just wanted to know more about it and uh, thank you so much for watching today uh, if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you next time Bye.